Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you uh, the food ordering website uh, in uh, ASP.NET Core or you can say that online deliver food uh, like uh, fast food uh, in your city uh, just create a new website in ASP.NET Core that is a scratch project uh, so in this project here we have a uh, solution food order dot web so here we have uh, five projects in the solution the first project is related to the models i mean to say that that is the core project and uh, you know that is it is a core project uh, and in which uh, in this uh, models we have only entities are there so one by one i will discuss all these entities okay so uh, first of all discussed uh, already existing new web packages in the project so here we have uh, added project file so here we have uh, uh, this is the .NET 6.0 project and here we have a single package that is microsoft.aspnetcore.identity.entityframework core so you just install it in your uh, computer okay and the next one is just uh, first of all discussed about uh, category model so in the category model uh, here we have a id title created date and that is uh, the date time dot now uh, with the value and the next one is description and a category have multiple items so uh, just create a list the next model is item model in the item model here we have item id uh, title description unit price and the image url that is a type of string and unit price the type of uh, decimal category id because the category is related to the item so here we have a category list of items so here we have many to one relationship okay uh, so image url category id uh, and also we have a item type id okay so item type id uh, so just uh, discuss about the next that is item type so you can say that it item type have multiple items okay <coughs> and item type uh, means to wage and non wage so here we have a item type class in the item type here we have a id and the title so uh, discuss all three uh, classes there is a three main classes and in the next uh, class is related to the cart okay so here we have a cart detail okay now in the cart uh, here we have a id that is the card is uh, prefer for the GUID property and the next one is user ID because a card have a single user ID is there mentioned and next one is created date that is installed already date time dot now is active that is uh, initial value with the true and a card have multiple card items okay a card have multiple card items so first of all discuss about the user ID so here we have a user and that user class inherited from the identity user class uh, the type of integer and in the user class here we have a name property and uh, not mapped with the database that is roles so just uh, go for the roles also so here we have a roles and roles is also used with the identity role and uh, in the role class here we have a description only okay so user and the roles are clear in the card class here we have a card that is a multiple card items a list of card items so just discuss about the card items in the card item here we have a uh, id card id that is uid <coughs> because a card have multiple card items so single id is there item id okay and unit price quantity and here we have a card okay so just ignore the json uh, json ignore so not written any json value and in the constructor here we have a three items that is item id quantity and decimal in the unit price so item id unit price and quantity is initialized in the constructor okay so cart is clear and the next one is uh, cart item is clear so the next one is uh, that is order so order here we have a related to the payments so here we have a order that is id user id payment id so order related to the payment 
so uh, a order actually related to the user details street zip code city created date and a order have multiple order items so just focus that that is order item and you can say that order detail so locality and the phone number so order item in the class that is related to the uh, product information so order item initialize with the item id unit price quantity and total okay and that is the item id that is related to the item unit price quantity total order id is also mentioned and with the virtual class okay and in the constructor you can say initialize with the four property item id unit price quantity and the total the last class is the payment class so here we have a payment details and in the payment detail here we have a id transaction id tax currency email status cart id user id and the final total so here we have all these are uh, existing in the model so uh, let's get started with the model because uh, model has created successfully uh, in the food order website so you can just prepare a er diagram for on the basis of the uh, models and uh, also create a relationship between the more these models so you you can uh, you can do it's yourself okay if you like this video please subscribe my channel because uh, i will deliver all these uh, problems which is related to asp.net core and shisha i will uh, uh, i will deliver you all these things okay so just uh, don't forget please subscribe my channel so this is the part of the model now the next uh, project is related to the uh, that is data access so here we have a data access in the data access the first class is related to the uh, models that is application db context so here we have a application db context that is inherited with the identity db context so just first of all focus uh, in uh, in the data access layer that is the project file so just open added project file <coughs> in the added project file here we have three main packages that is entity framework core microsoft.asp.net core dot and identity dot entity framework core just installed from the nuket packages and the second one is the sql server and third one is the tools okay so here we have in the application db context here we have uh, just add all these model classes in the db set so db set categories items item type order order item cart cart items and address and the payment details and what uh, what should i take in the address so just go for the model also and go for the address in the address class here we have some information like the street locality city zip code id street locality zip code city phone number and user id okay so all these are classes are clear so now the next thing we will do in the next lesson so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all others